Alright guys, I'm back here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead today and take apart the guitar cylinder. This is the uh, cylinder that was leaking quite a bit of air uh, for the last, I think, last video there. So I'm going to start by taking off the hoses. I'm just using a very uh, tiny screwdriver. Then I'm going to go ahead and get a wrench. Uh, this is a 15, 16 size wrench to take off the nut at the end of the cylinder. So you can see uh, once you take off that large nut, um, basically the whole cylinder will be moving. The next thing you have to do is take these little Allen screws out. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take these uh, take these screws out. I did use a little bit of uh, silicone spray to spray in those uh, those uh, screw holes, uh, or just to spray on the actual Allen screw itself before trying to take it out. It was a uh, 332nd um, Allen wrench, real, real tiny one. You can use penetrating oil. I didn't have any uh, PB Blaster or uh, WD-40 PB Blaster. Any of those types of oils will, uh, will work. Um, but just make sure you have the right Allen wrench. Uh, these, these, uh, these little tiny screws can easily uh, be... Uh, you, know, you can easily destroy the screw head and then you'll have to drill it out if you destroy it. So just put a little bit of uh, something something in there to kind of get the rust to uh, to loosen up. Make sure you're always applying pressure downward. Um, whenever you're taking out screws, especially the screws that are very old, you want to apply pressure down, down force uh, as you're twisting. Uh, just do the whole lefty-loosey, righty-tighty thing where you, uh, you to, to remove a, a screw, you normally go uh, left uh, in the left direction, and then if you want to tighten a screw, you go in the right direction. And as you can see on the bar, it has a little bit of a, a, an area there that is cut out where the Allen screws will rest and tighten against. So now this whole assembly is basically uh, able to slide. You can just basically remove the bar from that uh, slide assembly. And there we go. We have the cylinder removed from the guitar. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start taking the cylinder apart. Uh, what you're going to need is you're going to need two pairs of channel locks. Uh, there is a special wrench that goes in the top. It's called a spanner wrench. Um, it was advised to me that that's not uh, it's it's not very good. These these things are very soft aluminum. So if you just get regular channel locks and uh, basically just use a microfiber cloth or some kind of cloth to make sure you're not damaging the aluminum. So you're just going to put one on one side and one on the other side, so that way you have them locked down. Then you're just going to do the same thing, uh, just kind of to crack them open. You have to apply some force, and then you should be able to crack the... There you go, just spin it off. You can remove your other wrench at this point. Now what I noticed is I noticed uh, these uh, lots of oil and grease inside. I'm not too sure how much oil or anything. I don't even know if grease is supposed to be inside here. I'll have to do a little research to figure out um, what type of lubricant is supposed to be in here. If any lubricant is supposed to be in here. I don't know. This could have been the reason why it was leaking because there's just so much grease inside here over the years you know once again these robots are 30 years old uh, almost 40 years old uh, 38 I believe um, 
but you can see there's uh, basically a total of four seals. One is on the threads that I'm just, it's all the way to the top on the threads. And there's the second one is in the middle there. And then there's two that are on that lower, uh, lower area there. So I just took a rag and just kind of wiped everything down just to get, get some of that grease off there so I can see the parts a little bit more clearly here. Uh, I just took a, the same real the same uh, screwdriver I used to remove the hoses. It's just a really fine, a real small straight screwdriver, and um, basically just took the seals and backed them off. There was there was no way to take that lower cylinder looking thing off the bottom of the rod. Um, it was riveted on, so there was no screw at the end or anything like that. So I just basically popped them off just like that. You can see that the inner seal has kind of a, kind of has like a little bit of a cup shape. So I'm guessing that's some sort of a cup style seal, cup style uh, seal. Whereas in the, the other one that was all the way up at the front was more of an O-ring. So I think that's what they have there. So you basically have a total of four. Like I said, there's two there and one at the end. and. Um, so that's basically it guys, um, so I'm going to have to order some parts and I will do another video as soon as I get the parts and put the thing back together. Alright, take care guys.